Under process cost systems, in the cost of production report, equivalent units of production must be calculated. In this exercise, we will compute the equivalent units of conversion costs. The Bottleland Department of Rocky Springs Babbage Company had 2,700 ounces in beginning working process inventory, 60% complete. During the period, 45,300 ounces were completed. The ending working process inventory was 3,200 ounces, 70% complete. What are the total equivalent units for conversion costs? First, what are conversion costs? Conversion costs are direct labor and factory overhead. It is used to convert materials from work in process to finished goods. The approach to solving this problem is to lay out the inventory into groups. The first group is inventory in process beginning this period. There are 2,700 units, 60% completed. Since 60% is completed, and 40% is the percent conversion completed this period. Unlike the problem to solve for equivalent units of material costs, where direct materials are added at the beginning of the process, and when that's the case, the percentage of materials that's added in the period is zero. It is zero because materials were added at the beginning of the process, and this beginning of the process was in the prior period. Therefore, it's 0%. But here, this is conversion costs. And with conversion costs, the percentage conversion completed this period is 40% in this problem. For these inventory in process at the beginning of this period that we have, when 60% is completed, it's completed as to conversion costs. And during the period, the remaining 40% of conversion cost was added. And so for equivalent units for conversion costs, we take 40% times 2,700 ounces. That comes out to 1,080. The next group of inventory are the ones that are started and completed this period. The number of units that is started and completed this period is calculated by taking 45,300 which is the number of units that were completed during the period, and that's given in the problem. Take this number minus the beginning working process inventory, 2,700. That comes out to 42,600. Because these units were started and completed this period, and 100% is completed, the percentage of conversion completed this period is also 100%. And so 100% the percent conversion completed this period, the 100% times the whole units, 42,600 that is completed, the 42,600 that is started and completed this period, we arrive at the same number, 42,600 of equivalent units for conversion costs. The number of units that's completed and transferred out to the next department is 45,300. That is known by taking the beginning inventory in process, 2,700, plus the started and completed this period, 42,600, we get 45,300. This is the same number that is given in the problem. In the problem, it says during the period, 45,300 ounces were completed. And if it's completed, we know that it's going to be transferred out. The third group of inventory is the amount of inventory that remains in the period. It's not completed, it's inventory in process that's at the end of the period, and that's 3,200. It's given in the problem, and it's 70% complete. These inventory are 70% complete as to conversion cost, hence the equivalent units for the inventory in process at the end of the period are 2,240. That is calculated by taking 3,200 ounces in units times the 70%, the percent conversion completed this period. We add the equivalent units for conversion costs for the different groups of inventory together. The inventory in process beginning this period, 1,080, and then the started and completed this period, 42,600. And finally, the inventory in process at the end of the period, 2,240, we arrive at our solution. 45,920, that is the equivalent units for conversion costs.